light go through some things and not others? What light is made of and how light helps us to survive? Well, this video will tell us why. Light commonly called as electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by the human eye. Light is the form of energy that moves in waves and can travel through space. This is because, unlike sound, light does not need matter to transmit its energy. Does light a matter or does it carry a matter? The answer is no. Light does not occupy space, have no mass or volume, and therefore not considered as matter. Light is composed of photons, so we could ask if photon has mass. The answer is then definitely no. The photon is a massless particle. Then why light go through some things and not others? Fortunately, depending on the type of matter it comes into contact with, light will behave differently. Sometimes light will pass directly through matter like air or water. Well, there are three types of materials or objects wherein light behaves differently. When light encounters an object or material that allows it to pass directly through it completely, then it is called transparent object. Those objects that are transparent look clear like water or eyeglasses. But if light blocks by the object from traveling through them where most of the light is either reflected by the object or absorbed and converted to thermal energy, then these objects that do not allow light to pass through them is called opaque objects. Example, stone and metal. But how these objects absorbed and converted light into thermal energy? Well, if you put things like metals outside under the heat of the sun for 5 hours, then you will check what happened to the objects by touching it. You will notice that the objects are hot. Definitely, it absorbed the light coming from the sun and converted it to thermal energy. The previous types of objects simply show the differences of objects, how they allow or block the light. But are there objects that do some of both? Absolutely there is. We call these objects as translucent objects. This type of objects allow some light to travel through them. The light does not pass directly through the materials because as it passes through these objects, light scatters. The reason why you are not able to see things clearly. Example, frosted glass and sunglasses. Now, how do we connect light in our survival here on Earth? Well, sun is the main source of light. Without sunlight, our world would be a dead, dark place. Sunlight does more than just help us see. Sunlight keeps the earth warm so it does not become a frozen bowl in outer space. It is also a major component in photosynthesis, which is how plant life on earth grows and gets nutrients. Sunlight is a source of energy as well as a source of vitamin D for humans. But how fast does light travel? Well, light moves at the fastest known speed in the universe. Nothing moves faster than or even close to the speed of light. In a vacuum where there is nothing to slow it down, light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. Wow, that's fast! When light travels through matter like air or water, it slows down, but it's still pretty fast. These are some examples of how fast light is. The sun is almost 150 million kilometers from the Earth. It takes around 8 minutes for light to get from the sun to the Earth. It takes around 1.3 seconds for light to go through from the moon to the Earth. There are different scientists who tried to measure the speed of light in the early 1600s, and one of those is Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer and has been named as the father of observational astronomy, the father of modern physics the father of scientific method, and the father of modern science. Though he failed to calculate the exact speed of light, one person successfully made it 52 years after his death. And the person who first measured the speed of light is Uli Rumer, a Danish astronomer in 1676, by timing eclipses of Jupiter's moon Io. Now, what type of object is a mirror? Undoubtedly, it's opaque because it does not allow light to pass through it. The light cannot pass through the mirror from one side to the other, but we can clearly see the image of an object when it is placed in front of the mirror due to the reflection of light. So, 
If you learn new things today, drop your comments below, like and share this video and subscribe.